good, good. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. How are you? Everybody good? Yeah. Good. Would you like to call the roll and see who's here? Yes, ma'am. All right. I'm here. I'm here. President Reed. Here. Terrific. Thank you all. Uh, this is a regular meeting of the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, Wednesday, October 17th, 2018, at 2 p.m. Items presented for the first time. Number one, 19.022, request from the Comptroller's Office for approval of contracts and leases for various city departments as listed on Exhibit A. Number two, 19.023, request from the Comptroller's Office for approval of intra-departmental and interdepartmental transfers from various city departments as listed on Exhibit B. Number three, 19.024, request from the Comptroller's Office for approval of transfers between projects for capital improvement funds listed on Exhibit C. Number four, 19.025, request from the Mayor's Office, Director of Operations for approval to pay an invoice in the amount of $7,122 for annual dues to the Municipal League of Metro St. Louis from Fund 1010, Department 190, Account 5648-000. Number five, 19.026, request from the Commissioner of Supply <coughs> to, for approval to add one contract specialist to their table of organization. Number six, 19.027, request from the Director of Public Safety for approval of Board Bill 119. This ordinance authorizes an intergovernmental agreement with the United States Marshal Service and authorizes the creation of a special fund for deposit of certain funds to be used for improvements to the correctional facilities for federal detainees to be housed within the Division of Corrections. Number seven, 19.028. Request from the Director of Airports for approval of Board Bill 121. This ordinance authorizes a concession agreement with a Vend Co. LLC for placement and operation of vending concession machines for the traveling public at St. Louis Lambert International Airport. Number eight, 19.029, request from the Mayor's Office, Director of Operations for approval of Board Bill 133. This ordinance authorizes the St. Louis Municipal Finance Corporation to issue and sell its new revenue bonds in the aggregate principal amount not to exceed $105 million. Number nine, 19.030, request from the Director of Streets, Director of Parks, Recreation, and Forestry, Commissioner of Streets, and Commissioner of Forestry for approval. <coughs> Excuse me, for approval of the following changes to the table of organization. Remove 20 positions from the forestry division, add them to the street division for the purpose of creating a debris team responsible for all uncontained debris removal services within the city of St. Louis. One labor foreman, one, one construction equipment operator, two, eight construction equipment operator, one, and ten heavy equipment operator, one. Number 10, request from the Director of Airports for approval of Board Bill 120. This ordinance authorizes the memo memorandum of agreement with Southwest Airlines Company to partially fund contract for, administer, and manage the expansion and renovation of the Terminal 2 baggage claim area, related equipment and facilities at St. Louis Lambert International Airport. I move for adoption of item 1 through 10. <coughs> I would like to separate out item number eight. I move item nine to move for adoption of items one through seven, and then items nine and ten. Second. Uh, all in favor of adopting items one through seven and items nine and ten. Aye. 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 Okay. Those are adopted. Uh, move for adoption of item number eight. I'll second it for discussion. Okay. Uh, real simple, uh, I uh, am noticing that from uh, a rare occasion we have a request from the mayor's office for the issuance of and the authorization of bonds. And so I wanted to make that point here at ENA that this is a rare occasion which ca may cause a delay if in fact the controller's office is in disagreement with what would be in Board Bill 133. However, we will work very hard to make sure that we can uh, have our financial advisor to uh, review what's in the board bill. Uh, as you know, the issuance of bonds really is something that is uh, authorized by the Comptroller, and I am not advocating that responsibility. <coughs> 
and I want that to be noted here at the ENA meeting today. So I do not wish to delay the uh, issuance or the uh, moving forward, the financing, because we're very happy to have St. Louis County as our partner, and I understand that we have to take the steps in the city of St. Louis to let the county know how important this is to expand our convention center. But I don't want us to believe that it has been finalized by the controller's office, okay. and that okay. is a necessary step. Okay, right. noted. Yeah. Um, so. And I, I also want to point out that uh, this, for for those who don't know, this is the uh, expansion and renovation of the convention center. It doesn't exactly say that in, in this. That's what that is. We will be, um, provided we can get this all figured out, we will be uh, half, 105 is half of the total bond amount, which is 210. The county will uh, uh, pay half as well. We'll each pay $6 million towards the debt, uh, the new debt. and. Um, one is dependent on the other word. The other, in other words, if uh, this is this is the first step, we expect the county will be introducing similar language. But if we pass it and they don't, nothing happens, and and vice versa. So it's a it's a joint. Um, uh, we're going forward together on this. That's my. my it is point. a joint effort, and I truly appreciate the uh, addition of the St. Louis County. Of course, understand. Okay. Uh, do we need to amend the language in this at all to just say based on the control of the view or anything like that? So it goes forward together? Or Would you like to offer that as an amendment? I, I would appreciate it. I hadn't thought it through, but um, we can add a sentence that states something like um, request from the actually the crew of what they want to do is go in some place. And then, you know, kind of um, like pending, pending review of the control. Okay. So, because that has to happen anyway, right? And what happens if it doesn't happen? It doesn't go to the market. It just stalls. It just, and so just, what I want to do is just go ahead and get involved. And because what I understand that we were invited to go to finance meetings, which is unusual. And I really want to point out that that was an unusual step because normally for any type of revenue bonds with the St. Louis Public Municipal Finance, we're invited to the Comptroller's Office because the decision about going forward with the project is one thing. That's a CEO move. But the CFO move is to say, okay, now what do you need? How, how can we get this done for you? You know, it's, it's, it's a partnership. And so I don't want to uh, have to stall anything because there's a disagreement in the technicalities of the financing. We're not talking about the amount. We're not talking about not going for it, but we want to do this in the best interest of the taxpayers. So an outsider that is not approved by my office is not necessarily somebody that I would agree with. And that makes sense to me. And how it makes sense to me is the outsider doesn't know that the city's credit is best as the, the city does. We know the city's credit. And that's who this is going to depend on, not an outsider's opinion about the city's credit. Who's the outsider? I don't know, Todd, you want to fill us in, or maybe Jim can fill us in. He was invited to a meeting to discuss the uh, financing that we were going to be going forward with, and I was stunned. Jim, is she here? I am. Okay, well, can you help me uh, explain if that's okay with that you, Madam Mayor? Yeah. Sure. I did not have any meetings with you. You were invited. I was invited. Okay, so just say that. I was invited. <laughs> and you were invited by who? Uh, by who? By the convention. Okay, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So I'm, done. I'm not making this up. <laughs> <So>, uh, <coughs> uh, 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 and I want to make sure I'm following everything. Uh, this, uh, this, some, of the, some of the moving parts here are new to me today. Uh, yeah, this is this is all new to me. Yeah, so. but um, um, and, and thank you for bringing us some steel. Huh? But it doesn't seem to me that it would be a, a big 
pull it if we still have to, if the controller has to uh, be involved as part of the process and approval and making sure the process actually moves forward so that well, if I'm, we go to market. I'm not sure we need to have ENA approval if it really is all up to the controller. No, no, I think we no, still No, that's not what I'm saying, and, and I'm hoping that I'm not <laughs> misunderstood. Yeah, it's just so. the, um, so. number one, the, the the project I approve of. Yeah. That's number one. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm sure. not in any disagreement you want to make whatsoever. Sure we go to market but if the, do it. well, if there are terms in here, which was pointed out to me, there's a 40 year maturity, that's the one term, there are other terms. And normally those kinds of terms are not put in a board field this early without review by the financial advisor, the budget director, the controller's office. In other words, we're not normally dictated to about what the is terms of the, the terms and what is best and yeah, in the I best do. interest of the taxpayer. Yeah. So if in fact we find that there's a little glitch yeah, that yeah. will cause us to stall or stop, I would like to just bring it up today, which is what I'm doing. Yeah. So yeah. that we won't be stalled yeah. and we can go forward. It is not the same as me saying that I do this alone. Yeah. What I am saying is that while I wasn't involved in whatever meetings that my deputy was invited to, I want to bring it up now so there's no misunderstanding. Sure. That's it. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's no okay. policy. So just a quick oh, question. Agree. So sure. your deputy was invited but wasn't able to make well, it or chose asked, not to go he or what? asked me about going. And so while this is moving faster, my understanding is that we need to have something on the table for the count. Yeah, so that's we, the main that's the main reason for the moving forward. So I also know that we have some I think that's what I that's, that would be sufficient to me if it's sufficient for the mayor, if it's okay with the mayor. Pending the comptroller's approval. So if the comptroller doesn't approve it, it doesn't happen. Therefore, or let's we don't say really need let's say review. 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 Let's say review, review. if that's review. comfortable. Well, of course and you're going to review it. Well, yeah. then yeah. let's okay. put pending controller's review. Yeah. Okay. Pending controller's review. All right, so I move that we amend item A to state uh, request from the mayor's office directing a director uh, of operations for approval of board bill number 133. This ordinance authorizes St. Louis Municipal Finance Corporation to issue and sell its new revenue bonds in an aggregate principal Amount, amount not to exceed $105 million, comma, pending um, review of control. Pending second, controller review. Pending controller's review, I second that amendment. Amended um, number eight. Okay, so I, I, is it appropriate for to have a little more discussion? Oh, Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So the only thing I'm saying here is that we all have to, I mean, we're voting here. Uh, based on things that we've reviewed. But you're saying you haven't had a chance to review it. I think most people misunderstand this. There's two steps. You know, once uh -huh. we, we leave here, it goes over to the board. That's a step. But after all of that's done, you still got to go to market. And if I'm told that, hey, we're not going to do well if we have to follow these, we need to tweak this and tweak that. Mm -hmm. So you that cannot tie yeah. the hands of the people who are professionals they go to Wall Street and they do this day in and day out. And this is an unusual step, and I'm just simply pointing it out, because okay. I've been here for 20 plus years that I've been doing this, and I, and I started you know, in the budget office, okay. and I had to learn this the hard way. So it's yeah. not like I'm coming up yeah. you know, from, right. from no knowledge at all. Well, I'm learning the hard way, too. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we all have to learn the so, hard way, and I'm glad you're <coughs> teaching. You know, and this is a teaching moment, okay. and, uh, and, I, and I thank you for understanding. Sure. So I guess the one thing, um, I, I think maybe the way we got here is that we know what the payment has to be. The, we're each paying, city and the county are currently <coughs> paying $6 million against the dome. The dome bonds are going to be defeased, rolled into the uh, new bonds to expand and renovate the convention center. Um, and so perhaps they got to the terms by working it backwards 
I personally would love to see this be less than 40 years. I'll just weigh in with that for you today. 40 years is too long on this. We're still paying $17.5 million a year on the original convention center, which was a lot of decisions made before I ever got here with refinancings and that sort of thing. So, okay. Are we ready to vote? Yeah, we got it. So, uh, it's Your motion, is, we have a motion, we have a second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Do we uh, have we, a... Uh, we, we, we voted off to amend it, now we just need to vote to adopt okay. it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I move that we adopt item 8 as amended. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Now, do we have a final? I move, move that move. we adjourn. All right, great. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I, I,